Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic reaction. Another defeat for Celtic. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but I'm not surprised. Um, I'm trying my best, like this season. And if you're going to come out in the comments and say, why am I laughing? Or why am I smiling? I'm trying to literally put a bit of humour this season. Like, normally, like, you know, I don't it's just it's embarrassing it's over embarrassing it's just it's just so it's I don't, I don't know how to describe it anymore it's it's more than worse I mean I mean what you see tonight is just another a lending performance you know I'll show, show you real quick he stands up holds his hands up puts his feet up like that puts his feet up puts his feet up I, I mean if I was a player if I was a player at Celtic and I saw that I'd be more like what is the point in them trying? If your man, if our manager is doing that, had you, you, what is the point? And my title of this video is Celtic Board must immediately bring the unmitigated disaster to an end of a lot of season. If you want, if Celtic fans been cheering it every single season up to now, here we go, 10 in a row. We were, we were winning after title, after title, Rangers were behind. And, well, fair play to John Hughes. He, he literally said his tactics at the beginning of the game when he was talking to the, the Sky Sports, saying if we hold up the midfield and deny Celtic the midfield to get through to the strikers, we we'll, we'll might scratch it through. And they did. It was as simple as that. And we cannot defend set pieces. I mean, Brown's looking to see who can blame. I mean, it's Brown on the back post. Who is Martin the back post? Supposed to be Brown. Nobody's there. He's not here. Do you know what I mean? It's it's shocking now. I mean, is is there's no excuse. Um, after we're winning five straight games, lack confidence. What's the excuse going to be? Lack confidence. Lack sharpness. Lack cl clinical cutting edge. It took until we went a goal down to see any signs of urgency, and as per usual. It's a little, all little, too late. Capital letters, as I said, Lenin out. I, it's just, it's so, like, I'm, I'm, uh, Paul John Dykes, uh, is on the, the State of Mind podcast I was listening to there, he said, you know, when he was a, a he was a job at a paper boy, he saved up every money he could, £95 a season, I think it was back in, and he got Celtic behind. You know, I'm, I, I watch Celtic games, I'm always behind them, but when that when you see performances like that, it's hard. It is very hard to watch. Um, now you can focus on saying, "I'm going to say, uh, if a Celtic board come out tomorrow and say we've made a decision, Lennon, Kennedy, and Strachan are gone." Before I say, I'm moving on to that point. Strachan with his bloody iPad. I mean, I'm telling you, that pen must have got for bloody Ken John Kennedy got for his Christmas. Cause he never had that latter during the, the the latter part of that season there. Um, and he, he was trying to talk to Griffiths and Griffiths would tend to tie his laces or something. He's not listening to him because he doesn't need an iPad to play bloody football. And the one where Gordon Strachan showing Kennedy and Lennon the, the, the iPad and I was saying, I was saying to my dad saying, um, I bet he's saying, what numbers should I pick for the bingo or the lottery this week? You know what I mean? It's, it's so embarrassing for the club to see that. I mean, a bloody iPad. I mean, you see bloody... Uh, Guardiola shouting on the bloody, you know, papers and, you know, see me notes going round. What are you using a bl Oh, it's shocking. Absolutely. It's, it's three up to watch, to be honest, you know. Um, if sentimentality keeps people in their in their place at Celtic, then Rangers are going to rule the roost up here for years to come. And I agree with that comment. Um, Alistair or Ross on, it was a, on the State of Mind podcast commenting. Also one from... Colin McRobbie saying sack Neil now and Peter will lose his last and bonus. <laughs> um, why would you let a man rebuild when he can't even be trusted to bring his own backroom staff in? Yeah, I I I would, I would agree with that as well. You need to clear everything. I mean everything out that team. I mean the only team, the only person that's trying to get a good team to go. It's Christopher Ayer. He's stinking himself. If I perform well, I'll get a good team to go. Not the end players, Edward. Shocking, Christy. You know, see when the eighty fourth minute Christy gets over the bar, I'm only like, oh, how's he messed up? I'm just like, mm, 
no a chance of going. Yeah, it's far it's far too late in the season for me. I mean, it, it, it's just really disappointing. I, 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 you know, I try to get, keep humour in it uh, with my dad and all that, saying, uh, you know, try to get humour in this season. Try to get a smile on people's uh, faces, just to, just to, to, to you know, it's, see something out of the season, man. It's so embarrassing. It's, it is. It's, it's, fair play to John Hughes. He's, 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 I mean, getting, getting bloody schooled by John Hughes. I mean, come on. Well, subscribe, like, guys, and I'll talk about it tomorrow in the Celtic Mind podcast channel special. See you tomorrow.